Hi Patriots, Jason here, and today we are discussing the United States Constitution, because it's September 17th, Constitution Day. The day that the men who wanted to sign the United States Constitution did so at the Constitutional Convention. But we're remembering Constitution Day a little bit differently this year. In fact, we are going to remember the people who didn't want the Constitution to be ratified in the first place. The people known as Anti-Federalists. And the Anti-Federalists were really unhappy with many things regarding the Constitution, but most notably, there were certain rights that had been left out of the Constitution intentionally by its creators. And the Anti-Federalists made such a stink about this that the Federalists had to acknowledge, okay, maybe we've made a mistake. And after the Constitution was ratified and the first people elected to office, one of the earliest things they did was they created the Bill of Rights, the first 10 amendments to the United States Constitution. Now, the Bill of Rights was only created because the Anti-Federalists had outlined the need for it so vibrantly. And today, the Bill of Rights is often confused as part of the Constitution. I mean, look, when you hear people talk about modern politics, you'll often hear them referencing their First Amendment right or Second Amendment right or Fifth Amendment rights way more than you hear them reference the Supremacy Clause or anything to do with the Constitution itself because it was so important that we be given these rights. And I should note, uh, some people often reference the Bill of Rights as natural rights, but that's not actually true. They're constitutional rights. They're freedoms granted by the government. You don't necessarily have a natural right to confront a witness accusing you of a crime. You have a constitutional right on that. And much like freedom of speech and bearing arms, freedom of religion, uh, unnecessary search and seizure, the list goes on. We have those rights in the Constitution because the Anti-Federalists, the very people who were not happy with the Constitution in the first place. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like. If you're new here, I put out videos about the American Revolution seven days a week. This one's actually a little different than my usual fare, but I want to give a shout out to those Anti-Federalists who we spent the last year and a half worth of Fridays investigating pretty deeply. So if that interests you, definitely subscribe, and I'll be back with another founder for you tomorrow.